Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my beautiful people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mama Nips. Just first of all, I want to say I apologize for the video was that I uploaded a few days ago, uh, a day ago. I don't know what went wrong with the audio. But a lot of people complain. A lot of y'all complained that there was too low. The volume was too low. You couldn't understand what I was saying. Or you couldn't hear. Just want to say I'm sorry. And I learned from that. I didn't take it as criticism. I learned from what all you you commented. And that even make me uh, to, to keep doing better, make me, you know, encourage to do better. I didn't take it as criticism. It's kind of windy outside today. I'm walking though. See, it's what I'm crying or something. <laughs> so I didn't take it as criticism, okay? So that mama girl just want to do better as, you know, as she goes on. You make mistake and you learn from there. Oh, oh, it's cold. I ain't bring no jacket or just sweater. So I learned from the mistake I made. The last time I used a, I used a microphone to cook. And then the whole video, I noticed the whole thing was muted. That's why I decided that I just uh, go with a microphone, but I think I did it wrong. I was wrong about it. But in my video, the first, uh, the first stuff you saw, like before I go walking, or let's say when I wake up in the morning, I juice vegetables, I do carrots, I do celery, and I do cabbage sometimes. But the cabbage is kind of got too much, uh, it's kind of gassy, so it make you blow there sometimes. So I don't do too much cabbage. My mom likes the cabbage. But in that video, I did uh, celery, I did spinach, and carrots. So I started doing that almost a year. I started drinking that. So before, before I started drinking that, I get up in the morning. My fingers hurt, my back hurt, my knee hurt. I barely could get out of bed. I can't even bend my fingers, how bad it was. So I started drinking that juice. And also drinking a lot of water and walking. So that helped me a lot. So this morning, it's about 40 degrees, but the sun is shining. And it's windy. I think that's the only thing that makes it a little bit cold. But once you get out of the sun, and everything is okay. So that's what I'm walking because I think after today, but tomorrow we're going to be in the 20s and in the teens and all of that. So I won't be able to walk outside. I'll have to do my exercise inside. So I decided. In the next uh, four days, I'll be indoors. So I said, let me go and walk today. So anyway, so on the vegetable juice, I drink that twice a day. So the first thing when I get up, before I go, uh, before I start work, 
I drink the juice, a glass of juice. And then when I go walk in the evening time, I come back, I drink another, another glass. That's how I drink it. And you can make it and then put it in the container and put it in the refrigerator and it can last for like uh, about three days. So every three days, I try to make new one. Don't let it stay too long because if it stays too long, then it tastes ugly. They don't taste good. So that's what I do. So that's what I'm talking about in our video. It's really good for you. Even the people who got also, they say it's also good for when you do the celery, the carrots, and the cabbage. It's also help you for your also. Sorry, I'm breathing hard. I'm walking. Trying to cross right now. I'm in a hurry. I'm doing my usual walk. So let me. I'm doing my usual walk on the trail. So that's what I do with the juice. And then what I talk about also, I said I usually go walking outside. But I used to during the summertime, I go work it out with my son in the gym. So he has been training me in the gym sometimes. But when he started working, our schedule kind of changed. You know, so and then I started back walking outside. But now he's gone to school. He's on campus. He left yesterday. So the last training we did was the video that I posted. And I think we did a very good exercise. That's what I was talking about in that video. And then I talked about also um, the thing that encouraged me to start walking. So on our insurance on the job, you have to do physical. I know a lot of jobs do it now. You have to do physical every year to save on your premium. So if you do physical, so usually you get fifty dollar off your your monthly premium on the insurance premium. So if you don't do it, then you pay a higher premium. And then also when you do your physical. When you do your blood pressure, so they get you a reward for having good blood pressure. So I have been trying for the last whew, last three years to get this. So you have to your blood pressure. It actually have to be one twenty over eighty. <laughs> one twenty over eighty. So if you even above like 121, 122, you don't get that money. You should they get you two hundred dollars deposited into your MRA, and the MRA is for is a medical reimbursement arrangement. So you get what well, you get two hundred dollars deposited. So then you also you do mammogram. And you get a uh, hundred dollar deposit into your MRA. So the MRA, you can you can use the funds to pay for like all the pocket expense, like uh, your deductible. You know, after the after you after the deductible, then you get some some uh, money that you have to pay. You are on a deductible after the insurance pay. So you use that money also. And it helped me a lot last year. I went to the doctor. Oh my god. I think I had to come a little $900 out of pocket to pay. And I used that MRA to pay. So that's why I like to do it. So on the, the $200 deposit for, you, for my uh, blood pressure, like I said, three years, I've been trying and I can't get it. <laughs> So last year I went to 125 over 78, I believe. Then I told a lady, 
I said, ma'am, I said, you need to, you need to take it again. She said, okay, I'll take it. She took it. It was the same thing. I don't know something about blood pressure. When I'm gonna take my blood pressure, oh my god, I don't know something. I just get, I just get got a feeling. I don't know is the <laughs> the excitement. I don't know what is it, but my blood pressure is is always not high, but it's always a little bit up. So I don't know what, what what's up with that. So I didn't get there. So then I said I'll try for it again. Uh this year so on there now we got another thing your bmi so your bmi you have to be according to my height i'm five foot so i have to weigh between 97 pounds and 123 pounds 123 that's a little bit too Good morning. Good morning. I said that's a little bit too low. Oh, 123, 975. I used to weigh that a long time ago. And I don't even wish to be that 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 skinny again. Very, very, very skinny. So every time I go, my BMR is like 27, 28. But for my height, they, uh, I'm not supposed to weigh that. Is I'm considered obese. That one, I can't even fight to get that one because uh, that to me that's too skinny though. That's too skinny. I don't want to be that skinny. So the only thing I can do is just exercise and have good blood pressure. That's all I do. But I'm not trying to be that skinny. So I'll pass that. So we got other activities. You take the flu shot, you get hundred dollars. And we have some other activities that you do online too. And you get money into your MRA. And then uh what else? So that pretty much it. That encouraged me, you know, just to get a good blood pressure, get a 200, I deposited to my MRI. But, like I said, I've been fighting. Oh, this water is full today, though. Look at it. Look at it, guys. You should be way down. Look, it's full today. Yeah, so that's it. That's what I've been encouraged to walk. And I want to live longer too and be healthy. So that's why I do that juice. That juice, if if you juice and drink that thing, even you don't even have to you don't even have to uh do walking every day. But you just, you know, stay away from all the fried foods and stuff like that. Drink that juice. If you have a knee, knee, knees. Knee problem, if you have me, back problem, if your fingers, like, you know, like I said, when I get in the morning, my fingers used to hurt, like I can't even type. I thought it was just, you know, when you get old, that's what happened. No, no, no. A lack of exercise, a lot of inflammation, too. So that celery make you lose weight, too. Make you lose a lot of weight. You drink it in the morning, you drink it in the evening. So that's why I was talking about in that video. And I felt so bad uh, that you could not hear what I was saying. I felt disappointed because I already put my time into that video to, you know, to, to let you see. And to my surprise that the audio was so low. So I was, I was, I told Papa Gibbs, I can't believe I did for all my time in doing that video. And he said it was too low. Anyway, I will take it and do better next time. That's what I'll do. So the next thing I was talking about 
was uh my daughter our daughter our oldest daughter she lived out of state so we got uh let me see how many live out of state we have three live out of state and then we have we have four live here live here in texas so she's a she's a flight attendant so she you should have come here she do a lay over here when she was working but she's not working right now so she you should have come over here and to braid her hair so before i took a trip to Cairn, she been asking me to go i mean she took, they asked me to do her hair so i told her when i come back from Cairn, i'm gonna do her hair But when I came back, and then it was it just so busy. It was during the Christmas season, you know, with the the twelve days gave away. I was not able to travel, and besides, I told her when I came back, I told her I was so tired. I had fly for how many hours from camp, so I didn't want to get an airplane anytime soon i just wanted to rest and then before i go see her but now that she's expecting in uh in a few months she can fly now so the doctor said she should not fly so i was trying to go there to see if i can uh to then braid her hair she wanted me to braid her hair so that's why so i checked the weather the weather in texas there i know her where she is there's a lot of snow okay but they know how to manage that snow i was supposed to leave this morning early this morning to go um to do her hair she wanted to do her hair and they also wanted me to cook some food for her but when i checked the weather i've been checking the weather for texas that uh it's a long weekend it's a martin luther king uh holiday monday is holiday so i wanted to go so i can you know be there for from all the way to monday come back on monday but the problem is um, with the ice, they say it's supposed to ice uh, on Sunday and then on Monday. So I told her, I don't think it'd be possible for me to go this weekend because I don't want to be coming back and then my flight cancel or something and I have to go back to work on on Tuesday so I told her that we can postpone the trip until maybe this coming weekend that's next, next weekend so that way I know it's still gonna be snowy on her side but at least there will be no weather problem in Texas because let me tell you Texas when they say a little bit of ice and everything is shut down because we're not used to that we're not used to that kind of weather so everybody stay home nobody get out that's what i was kind of worried i didn't want to come back and then i can't get out of the airport even if the flight if, even if i made a flight so that was a problem so i'm just gonna see her next week yeah and she understood it she said okay so we have another grandbaby so grandbaby number eight number eight grandbaby number eight that's our first child you know she's been she's been flying and flying and flying so she finally decided to have a baby so 
I'll go see her next week. So the next one is the last time I asked about if you had a suggestion about Papa Gabe's uh, birthday Camille. That way I wanted me to do something different. But I asked him, I said, what do you want me to do? Or what do you want me to do? He said he wanted to have some friends over, just few friends, and have dinner. So I said, okay, that's what you want? I just wanted something different, but that's what he wants. So I respect that. So I'm going to be cooking. Cooking. Uh, so we're going to cook. Let me see. He said fufu and soup. And then our traditional food, which is uh, tabagi. So I'm going to cook that tabagi. And then make some other little things on the side. So that's what I'm going to do for him. That's what he wants. I thought we we're just gonna you know go out like some other suggested. Just you know go out and spend it on our own, you know. But he wanted to have some friends for her. But that's all right. We're gonna do that. Maybe for my birthday, that's what we're gonna do. Just go out. I mean, just go somewhere. Get away and do stuff. Good morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a dog. <laughs> he coming close to me like that. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what I was talking about in that video. But I apologize if that video did not come up. You know, you didn't get to hear what I was saying. And I can't take it down because that's gonna hurt me if I take it down. So I'm just going to do better next time. So I'm so sorry. So sorry to my subscriber. I'm so sorry. Sorry, y'all. I felt bad when y'all said y'all couldn't hear what I was saying. I felt bad. Hopefully next next video. I don't care. I will try to use the microphone. I know I talk very low. It's just how my voice is. I can't. I don't know. I try to. But just the way my voice is, I can't, it can't get any louder or something. So I will try to use the microphone from now on. And, you know, when I'm recording. So I'm sorry, guys. You don't feel discouraged. And I'm not either. So whatever comments you make there, I do not consider it as criticism. It's just making me to grow. And make me to do better so I thank you for all the comments and uh, I will take all that into consideration next time when I make my video yeah so I'm walking it's beautiful also very beautiful it's windy but I can stand it just go on my head I have my hood over my head but I took it I got kind of hot so let me tell you, do y'all know I went here? This high school, when I first came from the, from Liberia, this is the high school I went to. So I was in the, I was in the 12th grade. The high school is right by my house. I was in the 12th grade. Let me show you, let me get, let me get out of here. Maybe I should go that way so I can see. Ooh, so when it, so this is the high school right here. I went to the high school for like, uh, like four months. Four months. And then I graduated. Yep. Four months. So then my son. My son went to the high school too. That's where he graduated from. Isn't that funny? That's where he graduated from. 
So I graduated from there. And my son graduated too. We were very close. We used to live very close by the by the school. So I usually walk walk to school. I didn't have to pick no bus. Isn't that funny? We both graduated from the same school. So guys, doing a little swing here. Sometimes you got to play too, you know. I'm gonna ride a little bit swing. Uh, in the playground. And then somebody to push me. Up. <sighs> so I do that sometimes with the grandkids when they come here, then I bring it the swing. But they're not here today. I'll do it for them. Do a swing. <sighs> I remember this long back then we used to do this. We used to ride this swing here. That's what I'm doing. Having fun, we can have fun too then. Not only kids though. If your butt can fit in there, you can swing. But your butt can fit then you can. I know before my butt couldn't fit in there, but now I can actually fit in this one. <laughs> Did a bill. Did a bill right before I go back home. Come join me. Let's ride together. Jump me, jump me, jump me, folks, jump me, jump me, jump me, jump me. Mm, I can feel it in my hips. Okay, that's enough. Of before I fall down here, before the people will be laughing at me. I'm like, what's what's she doing here? What's she doing? Too grown for that. I don't know about that. Grown people can ride too. <laughs> Look at this girl walking with me too. Come on, let's walk. Every time I walk in, they always passing by. There's so many squirrels around here. Hey, come on, let's walk. That's what. Come on. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. So, let me show you the school, the better view of the school. I'm going closer so I can see. This is the the tennis school right here. So this is the school I went to. This is the high school I went to. Okay. This is better picture. Let's see if I can see. Right here. This is the back of the school right here. Come on. Where well, folks? I walk for an hour and fifteen minutes today. I'm almost home. I hope you enjoy walking along with me. That's a beautiful wall. It's beautiful outside. So I make sure I walk, I walk very well today. Because in the next day, I will not be able to walk. I'll be inside. I'll be riding my bike in, indoors. Be riding my bike indoors. I, don't, I like walking. Or I prefer walking. I don't like to ride a bike. But hey, let me pick the last of my pepper. But tomorrow is everything gonna cross. So let me do what I can now. That's the last of the pepper. See how dry it is now. I'm 
got a bell pepper too. Big bell pepper. And then this red one. So after today, now all this thing gonna be uh dry. Very dry. So let me pick it now. Welcome us out tomorrow. Monday morning, all this is gonna be gone. I'm gonna start all over again in the spring. I do new pepper. <sighs> oh, it's windy outside. My nose are running. I think these are jalapeno. Not there here. I don't know. I'm sure it's jalapeno. I'm not sure. It's right here. So let me just pick then. As it's just gonna go fall, fall to the ground. And get rotten. That's a lot down the on the ground though. I didn't even see it, I just not seen them. <sighs> like this one here. So guys, I put all my flowers in. This is the only one that stay out. This one is dead. So all these leaves come to my house. I don't have no trees in my yard. But I Pick up more leaves. So all these neighbors leaves come to my yard. I have to sweep like every other day. I ain't got no leaf, but still got to sweep. What's up with that? Mm. See the bags? I'm going to pick the leaves every other day. So guys, I am done walking. So this is what I drink after walking. So the vegetable that I made um, a day ago. So it's so cold. It feels very good. I mean, it tastes very good. Not feel. Tastes very good. I was thirsty too. So you should not go walking. I don't take no water. I come back, then I drink this one here. Sometimes I do two glasses. That's how thirsty I'll be. Two glasses of this. Of the juice. So thanks for watching and thanks for walking along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like. And share this video I am so sorry about the previous video so hopefully today you enjoy this video okay I'm sorry again I apologize for that video I took all my time and everything and put all the effort I could into that video and they didn't come out good but that's how that's life hey sometimes things happen so I appreciate you all and thanks for always supporting me. Until then, um, take care and have a beautiful weekend. And be safe. <laughs>